this from the replacements from the album called Don't Tell a Soul, a song that I've always loved. It's called Rock and Roll Ghost. It came out um, on Sire Records, 1989. Paul Westerberg doing the lead vocal on that uh, particular track. I'm Chris Doritas. This is Morning Becomes Eclectic on KCRW. In the studio with us is Paul Westerberg. It's great to have you here. How are you doing? Thanks, Chris. I'm doing pretty good. Rock and Roll Ghost. I don't know if um, there's something that I've always found very beautiful about that song, and I don't know. This is a song you wrote. Yeah. Um, it's a, oh, man, you know, to start right off with that, it's a sad uh, song, and it's uh, a friend of mine that I grew up with used to play harmonica, and we used to play together when we were 16, 17, and uh, he took his life when he was 17 years old, and that song is sort of for him. And, uh, you know, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. I don't play it live. I did it live, I think, maybe once and decided never to do it again. But, yeah, that's a, that's a special little song for me. Yeah, I was kind of hoping you would do that live. Um, come I, I don't like breaking down in public, but you know, that's <laughs> what would happen if I did it, probably. Well, you've turned in uh, two great shows at the Whiskey, um, really turning in a, a replacements re retrospective last two nights at the Whiskey, hasn't it been? Um, well, your, your live show. I'm playing, you know, playing the old and the new songs. It, it was... There was never any thought that I would play only the new material. I mean, no one wants to go see your favorite artist or band and just hear the new records. So, I mean, I enjoy playing the old ones. Yeah. Um, you found a great band. Um, was that a lengthy process, something that took a lot of... It took a, a little bit. I kind of got lucky, I think. I, uh, Dave Minahan from The Neighborhoods, he plays guitar. He was actually their lead singer. And he was recommended because, uh, you know, he'd been a fan of the replacements. Darren Hill came through. He's also from the East Coast, from Boston. And Josh Fries, the drummer who's from here, he played on World Class Fad in the studio. He was a friend of Matt Wallace, the producer. And we're lucky to get him. He has a band called Extra Large. But he's, you know, he's with me for now. What sort of things does a person go through uh, in the transition from from a band setting to a solo career a person like yourself oh you know not much i mean making the record was a little different because i was wasn't surrounded with uh, a band i mean i used different drummers and different musicians but i did most of it myself really and uh once again i'm you know on the road touring with a band it, it's it's a little different we don't hang together like you know, like we used to, like when you're 19 years old and you're in your first band and you live together and see each other all day long. Pretty much uh, show up at sound check and then see each other at showtime and and that's it. But, no, I'm enjoying it like this. I mean, you can't go back and be 20 again, but I wouldn't want to be, really. Yeah. Um, you really were kind of... There was a little bit of a smooth transition. I would suspect having... A couple of tunes on the the single soundtrack. It's good timing for that. I was ready to record, but I didn't want to make a full full record, and it was you know I only had two songs. <laughs> hey, I had a chance to record them. It was good. An opportunity to put them out. Yeah, you know, it worked nice. Paul Westerberg, this is morning becomes eclectic on KCRW. I'm Chris Doritas, and uh, we're about to hear some songs from the new release, 14 Songs, which is out on Sire Records these days, and it's um, named, I guess, in honor of J.D. Salinger's work, right? Yeah, yeah, my my friend Laurie suggested that I should just call the thing Nine Songs, and being 14 of them, that wouldn't have worked very well. <laughs> but uh, I didn't want to go with one of those jokey titles that the Mats always chose, and I wanted to put this the uh, spotlight away from me, the person who wrote the songs. I wanted the songs to be the star of the show. And uh, they are, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. You know, I've, I've heard some people say about the album that, um, that, that it sounds like a step toward becoming a solo artist. And, and I've also heard some people say <laughs> that uh, the last couple albums of The Replacements sounded like a solo artist still in a band. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I've, I've heard both sides of the... Yeah, I think... Uh, I don't know if people were disappointed or relieved, but uh, I mean, there was no, there was no way for me to suddenly make a solo record and you know change my appearance and my style and my voice and my writing. 
I mean, it, it's only natural that it's going to sound like what I've been doing. I mean, rock and roll ghost or if only you were lonely. I've always been playing ballads and quiet stuff. And there's just as many rockers on this as there was on the last two or three replacements records. So it's, I guess I'm, you know, I have a style. And whether it's, you know, under the name replacements or my name or if I formed another group, it would certainly shine through. It's pretty much me. This is what I sound like. That's even Here We Are, and that's from the album 14 Songs from Sire Records. Paul Westerberg, he's our guest here on Morning Becomes Eclectic. I'm Chris Doritas. That's one of the short ballads on the album. Yeah. Very the short piece. Two minutes, did it make it? Yeah. That was recorded in the in the bathroom in, uh, at the studio in New York. We'd, we spent the entire day working on, I don't can't remember what it was, probably First Glimmer. And it just sounded horrible. And it's such a degrading feeling to feel like you've wasted an entire day and all that money and got nothing and before i left i went in the bathroom with the acoustic and sat down and started strumming and matt wallace the producer came in and brought a little tape deck and i turned it on i think i recorded it twice and then we just we put that on the record there's a couple things on the record then that uh take you out of your element um i'm thinking of the demo of Black yeah, Eyed Susan. It takes me out or it takes me into my element. That, yeah. that was recorded in my kitchen. and I, uh, I'm i hesitant to like build a studio. First, I don't own a home. I, I rent a place. But I would hate to like make my home my studio. I would probably kill the vibe. But I had no intention of making that, making a song to go on a record. It was just a, you know an autumn morning. And I wrote a little song. And then two years later... While making this record, I went through my tapes and thought, hey, this is a good one. Couldn't remember how to play it, so we just put it on as it was. <laughs> Two. This Black Eyed Susan, that's from uh, the new release on Sire Records called 14 Songs. Paul Westerberg, this is his uh, first solo project after work with um, The Replacements, not counting the stuff on the single soundtrack, which, which we heard a little bit earlier in the show. This is Morning Becomes Eclectic on KCRW. I'm Chris Doritas, and uh, you mentioned that you wrote Black Eyed Susan one autumn morning. And yeah. uh, I read something recently here that says that a lot of your songs tend to be in an autumn frame of mind. Uh, they do. I get, you know, it's my favorite time of year, and that's probably why I still live in Minneapolis, because I do love the, the fall and the change of season. I think it's just the whole feel of, you know, everyone going back to school and everything, and and I'm not. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, the the morning belongs to me again. You know, everyone's back doing their thing. Belongs to, like, people who stay at home and musicians and artists. Um, tell me about the song, the song Things. Mm -hmm. It, um, that one was written again maybe two years ago. And, uh. I, I'm always writing tunes, and I, I didn't sit down and like write a bunch of songs to record my solo record. I had been writing songs. That was one of the first I'd written, and that, again, came out of a cassette that I uh, was weeding through while the record was pretty much done, and I took a listen to it and thought that as hard as it might be to put it on, I needed to do that one because it was a really strong song. I mean, emotionally, it was a little touchy at the time because my marriage broke up and oddly enough the song is not really about my marriage which only throws another light of like well who is it about then but uh yeah it's 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 a way you know it's a statement there it's saying uh, that my music and what i do is my first and true love and everyone else pretty much has to come in number two it's a hard thing to say, but, you know, I did, and I can't take it back now. Things. That's from 14 Songs, new from Sire Records, Paul Westerberg, who's in the studio. I'm Chris Doritas, and this is Morning Becomes Eclectic on KCRW. Um, a lot of press about the things that you've shed over the last couple of years, ban, marriage. <laughs> um, Drugs, liquor, dr yeah. heroin, coke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. A regular shopping list of things right. you've cast aside. Um, is it like getting to know yourself again? The way I like to look at it is, is that there was kind of an imposter who took over for 17 years. And, and now I'm pretty much back to where I started when I was... 
I mean, I'd like to get back to where I was like three years old, where you're totally uninhibited and feel great about the day. I'm working on it, but I feel pretty good. I don't take this as seriously as I did, even when I pretended with the replacements that like, this is all a joke and we don't care. I think we cared a great deal, and we're very uh, fearful of like doing the wrong thing. I'm a little freer now, and to like, I'll just do what I do, and you know, take it as it comes. It's been great having you here. Thanks, thank you. Really appreciate it. Maybe you can come back and see us with uh, with the band next time around. That'd be cool. We'd come and, or come just, and play something. Just sit down at the piano next time or something. Yeah, well, if the show wasn't so early, maybe my <laughs> yeah. wouldn't sound like Froggy. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Waits up there. We'll see you again sometime soon, I hope. Okay, thanks, Chris. It's Paul Westerberg on KCRW. The album's called 14 Songs, new on Sire Records. We're listening to Paul Westerberg from 14 Songs on Sire Records. My thanks to Larry White and to Paul Westerberg for dropping by the station. I'm Chris Doritas, back tomorrow from 9 to noon. Special guest at 11.15, Beck in live performance. This broadcast time is made possible in part by Nederlander Events.